So this is the first in a few videos I want to make based on my years of experience in call centre environments, the three biggest reasons that call centre agents go wrong, the three biggest things they forget. First of all, I want to start with fob offs. Now, it's a very British thing to be polite, uh, make excuses, and let's face it, we all do it in our everyday lives. PPI calls, you've had an accident, whatever it may be, we think of many excuses not to speak to them. Sometimes we may even be rude enough just to hang up. If a customer, regardless of whether this is custom service or sales, whatever it may be, tells you they're busy, I'm sorry to be harsh, but generally they won't be. They've answered their phone. They just don't want to make you a priority. We're all busy. We all lead busy lives. The truth of it is they just don't want to speak to you. So face it up. Challenge it. Also, a big thing I notice is that people always say, oh, you're at work. I'm sorry to disturb you. What time do you finish? And they look for an evening call back. Hang on. Most people, especially if they really want to take the calling to do some business on the phone, have breaks and lunches. So rather than asking, what time do you get home? What time is your next break? What time is your lunchtime? And only take a couple of moments. This will at least perhaps test them to see whether it's really the fact they're just trying to avoid you rather than the fact they genuinely can't talk to you. It's so easy for people to say, I'm busy, I'm not interested. The problem is, if you, a call goes into the evening, the customer knows that you're going to be calling in the evening. And let's face it, again, we're all human, we've all had hard days at work, you come home in the evening, you have your dinner, you spend some time with your kids, you're relaxing, the last thing you actually want to do is do business on the telephone. So again, this leads to a cycle then where you ring them in the evening, as promised, they don't answer, and you're into this embarrassing cycle trying to chase them, and then eventually you'll find out that they weren't interested in the first place. But if you'd known that and challenged their objection in the first place, it would have saved everyone a lot of time and given you a lot better chance to overcome that objection. So it's not about being cynical, we've got to be polite, always be nice, I appreciate that, but a lot of agents just very, very easily go for the callback option, accept the fact the customer's busy. Come on people, they've answered the phone, especially on soft, lukewarm and warm calls, they've inquired about something, they've got an interest. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not anything to be scared of. Say to them, oh, no worries, it'll only take a quick moment. Um, if you haven't got that quick moment now, when's your next break or lunch? Don't be frightened to challenge it. For me, that's where a lot of people go wrong. You waste a lot of time chasing waterfalls, as I call it, to quote a TLC song. Um, face up to it, get the call done, overcome the objection, and set a call back if absolutely necessary. But try to avoid those evening calls. More to come in the next couple of days.